Welcome back to the learning English. We will say part two. And I'm here at the exercise number three. Okay, so we will find the usage. Uh, I have just drunk a, a bottle of water. Half a bottle of water. Because water, we all need it to live. Present simple. Okay, so study the examples in the dialogue. No need. Because I have told you the structure, so maybe not. Okay. Okay, so we will write simple or continuous for each use in the chart below. Which two uses refer to the future? Maybe not. We will do not do that. But we will write simple if that if that use is for present simple or present continuous if we we'll write continuous if that is the use of the present continuous so now six uses for habits and routines for habits and routines uh, it is definitely for the present simple because for habits and routines example like I like chess I like playing chess so that is the tense of a present simple or routines uh, I go to school at 6 30 every morning so 6 6 30 every morning that is the routines we have to do it every every day except Sunday so maybe every day it, 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 it means routines because we do it, do it, do it, do it, and do it. So it is first one. For habits and routines, we'll put PS. Okay, so we'll write PS or present simple. Okay, so my P simple. Okay. Okay, present simple for habits and routines. Next one. What is used for something happening now or about now? Happening now? It is absolutely present continuous because happening now. Like example, I am doing the show. That means I am doing the show now. It is happening right now. Or about now. Or about now. May, now means uh, later. Maybe later. Later. Like I am going to. I am taking a bath at the moment. I am taking a bath at the moment. Or I am eating lunch at the moment. Okay. So all about now. That means we. I will do it. For definitely, for definitely, for sure, I would do it. So, for something happening now or about now, that is present continuous. Okay, so it is, uh, okay, so, uh, maybe I just only write continuous for, uh, For a uh, fit in each blank. Okay, so for describing annoying ha behavior, with always, that means we'll use present continuous. An annoying behavior that means a very bad behavior, like we are. Uh, I uh, somebody always do that. Do that thing. And cannot, uh, cannot giving, and cannot give up. Just like this, she is always forgetting her bag. She is always forgetting her bag. That means she, she always forgets her bag. For the first day, she did forget. Then the next day, she also forget. The third day forget too. So every day, every day, every day she forget her back. So we will use present continuous. 
Like she is for always forgetting her bag. Okay, so continuous, continuous. Or you can find find the example in the book. It is the first sentence. First sentence. You are always using the computer when I need it. Okay. Uh, you are using. You are always using the computer. You are always using the computer. That means. Uh, she is always. She always use uses the com the computer when he needs it. Always use. First, first day use. Okay, then the other other any time a lot of time. So we'll use present continuous for describing an annoying behavior that is always repeat, repeated, and repeated. So, okay, so next one. With always, and remember, with always. Next one for a permanent situation or fact. Permanent situation for or fact. Ah, uh, for this we will use present simple for permanent situation or fact. Like, ah, uh, uh, uh. Earth, Earth moves. Move. Oh, sorry. Earth moves around the sun. Earth moves around the sun. So that is an a, a fact. A fact. Okay. So or a thing that is always true. Simple. Present simple. Next one for the arrangements in the future. Arrangements in the future. Like I am going. To I I am going to the cinema this Saturday afternoon. I am going to the cinema after the this afternoon. Okay, so that means you will do it for sure. Like I have explained for the the, the second one, uh, you do it for sure. You cannot give it up. You cannot you cannot delay or you cannot decline it. You must come like. Like this is uh uh um uh a future plan a future plan for sure you will do it for sure one hundred percent you will have to do it you must do it like I am going to the cinema this Saturday afternoon that means I have to go I must go if not then I will not use this form but I but if I use I will go to the cinema this afternoon that means Maybe I will go, or maybe I want to go. I didn't know before. I didn't. Uh, maybe I I I will go, or maybe I want to go. I didn't know. I I uh, didn't know. Oh, uh, for sure. Okay. So not for not sure. We'll use the future simple, but oh, but for sure you will do it for sure. That is present continuous. Okay, so next one, the last one for the timetables and schedules. Example, like cinema programs. It means we will use present simple. Like I, I go, uh, I go to school at six thirty every morning. Okay, that is for the timetables. Or okay, or for for the timetables, I learn math. At 8 a.m., I I learn math at 1 p.m. Uh, at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, so that is the schedule, the timetables you will have to do. Okay, so those are the uses of present simple and present continuous, and we'll be right back with part three of our learn English with we'll say and we will talk about dynamic. And state verbs. Okay, what is it about? You will, we'll be right back to tell you. Okay, don't go anywhere.